Hello dear students, today we are going to talk about matter construction. What's construction? Construction means inner structure of matter. Okay, now if I have perfume and open this bottle, we will we will smell it all over the room. Why? Because this matter divided into very small particles and these particles exist, spread through the room, so we smell it. These small particles are called molecules. What's meant by molecules? Molecules are smallest part of matter which can exist freely. We smell it all over the room, so molecules spread all over the room and has the properties of matter. Each molecule in the perfume carry the smell of perfume which is its property. So matter consists of small particles called molecules. Properties of molecules. Molecules are in continuous motion. How? Here, when we use perfume, its molecules spread all over the room. So molecules are in motion. Let's do another experiment which is about here we have water. I'm gonna use potassium permanganate solution. It's a violet colored solution. I add drops of potassium permanganate in water. Did you see? Molecules of permanganate spread through water. It moves through water. So molecules of matter are in continuous motion. After a while, the color of permanganate spread through water. What happens if we add drops of ink or drops of violet permanganate through water? The violet color spread because the molecules of permanganate are in continuous motion between water molecules. The second property of molecules is this, that molecules have intermolecular spaces. How? Let's do another experiment. Here we have 50 cubic centimeter water. And I have here 30 cubic centimeter potassium permanganate, a colored liquid. By adding the two volumes, The, the measure of mixture will be, logically, it must be 80 cubic centimeter. But uh, if you see, its volume, the volume of mixture is less than 80. Less than 80. How? Why we have a difference in volume between the summation of liquids before mixing and after mixing? Because between molecules of liquid, there are spaces. Some alcohol molecules occupy, fill spaces between water molecules first, then complete the other volume. So here, there is intermolecular spaces between liquid volumes. Give reason, the volume of mixture of water and potassium permanganate is less than some of their volumes before mixing. Why? Because some potassium permanganate molecules occupy, fill spaces between water molecules. The third property is that when I have this, a piece of iron, if you try to divide it, it's difficult to divide a piece of iron. But if I have amount of liquid, then I'm gonna to divide it, I'll divide it into more than one beaker or more than one container. I think it's easy to divide amount of liquid. Why? Because between molecules of matter, there is attraction force, intermolecular force. Intermolecular means between molecules. There is a force which binds molecule together. Differ from solid than liquid than gas. How? Here it's a diagram which 
which show molecules of solid or liquid or gas. In solids, molecules are nearer to each other, have very narrow spaces. So, attraction force is very strong. It's difficult to divide any solid substance with my hand. But, here in liquid, they have larger spaces, large spaces between liquid molecules. So it's easy to divide amount of liquid in more than one container. We have three properties of molecules. First, molecules are in continuous motion, like in case of perfume and potassium permanganate in water. There are intermolecular spaces, there are spaces between molecules of matter, and the third property is that there is attraction force or intermolecular force between molecules of matter. In solids, the intermolecular spaces are narrow, very small, tiny. In liquids, intermolecular spaces are large, intermediate, medium. It's not, it's larger than solid, but in gas, it's very large. Gas molecules are away from each other. In the other point, that there is intermolecular force between molecules. It differs from solids and liquids and gas. In solid, because molecules are close to each other, it has very narrow spaces, so the intermolecular force is very strong. But in case, of liquid matter, intermolecular force is weak. Why? Because when we talked about intermolecular spaces, it has large spaces and solid. But in case of gases, it's, they have very, very, very large spaces. So what do you think about the intermolecular force between gases? Gases have very weak attraction force because molecules are away from each other. Intermolecular force between gaseous molecules almost not existent. Why? Because they are very far from each other. The third property is molecules are in continuous motion. Here, solid molecules are close to each other. They have narrow spaces and very strong attraction force. Does a solid molecule move? Yes. How? It moves vibrational motion in its place. It moves in vibrational motion in its place. But in case of liquids, it has larger space. Weak attraction force. So its motion is more limited, it's limited, but uh, not, don't vibrate in its place, okay? It moves from its place, like we see in, like we saw here, in case of adding potassium permanganate to water, motion is uh, slowly. But here in gases, molecules of gases, uh, its motion is uh, unlimited, it's completely free. Why? What do you think that, why do you think that gases have unlimited motion? Because its molecules are away from each other. They have very large intermolecular spaces and very, very weak attraction force. 